Hi, my name is Chloe and welcome back to my channel. But today we're going to be talking about a typical day in clinic and what a multi-specialty clinic is. So I'm super excited to get into this video and on that note, we're going to get started. So you may be asking yourself, what is a multi-specialty clinic? Glad you asked. So they're typically found more so in peds, hospitals than adults. But basically, it's where you see all your doctors under one roof in one day. And they're typically for um, children and sometimes adults with complex conditions. Like, for instance, my local children's hospital does one for obviously spina bifida. And then like one for traumatic brain injuries, one for cerebral palsy, you know, just stuff like that. And not every like children's hospital has one for every single medical condition. It's a grab bag. Now, the people I see up in clinic is I see a neurosurgeon who takes a look at my back and spine as a whole. And then I see a urologist because spina bifida damaged my bowels and bladder. And then I see a physical therapist who will take a look at me and my tone, strength and balance, etc and my body and make recommendations for equipment like foot orthotics, ankle foot orthoses, a wheelchair, etc. And then I see an occupational therapist who helps me be independent in my daily life. And she'll recommend things like, for instance, a shower chair. And then I see a physical medicine rehab doctor who rounds out the whole visit and She'll write scripts for me and look at me as a whole and make recommendations and outsource me to other people. And then I see a social worker. So a social worker's job is to help you get the resources you need. So let's say, for instance, you need a pair of AFOs but can't afford them. Then this person will recommend a charity that gives them out for free or something like that. However, my like social worker, she's not weird. It's just the situation we're in is weird because she knows about Pennsylvania stuff only and I'm from Georgia. So what she does in instead of saying like, oh, I know where you could go. She has to say, let me think about it and do my research. And then I see a researcher. So this clinic as well as some other selected clinics. They're a part of the Spina Bifida Association's patient registry. Basically, a researcher can opt to come in and they'll ask you the same questions every time you go to clinic and they'll take your results and get them into the patient registry. And the Spina Bifida Association gets grant money from the CDC and they figure out how to best allocate the funding with the grant money that they've been given through the patient registry and the results from that. And I also see a physical therapist in Atlanta as well as an orthotist. And if you want to find out how I got those, comment down below and I'll make a separate video if there's enough interest. The reason being is because it's weird, like the Spina Bifida Clinic doesn't have an orthotist. However, their orthotist is like in the same building as Spina Bifida Clinic. However, I've been told not to see them because foot orthotics and AFOs need a lot of tune-ups, especially in the first like couple of uses. So they said it was best for me to find someone in Atlanta and then with my physical therapist here in Atlanta, she does everything that, you know, my physical therapist up in Hershey does. It's just that she works with me more and gives me exercises to do. But again, she does everything that the one up in Hershey can do. And with Spina Bifida, like with any multi-specialty clinic, you can see these people separate from clinic too if you want. And depending on... um how much of an interest or funding there is will determine how often they have it. So like my local children's hospital only does it once a month, whereas up in Hershey, it's done twice a week. And you can see these people separately from clinic if you want to. And sometimes you have to. So let's say you go to clinic and the neurosurgeon 
thinks that there's something going on and wants to order an MRI and get a follow-up visit, then you can do that and not have to go to clinic and see this person separately. Now, for each clinic, they have a certain amount of people in each specialty for the clinic. So like for instance, up in Hershey, they have two neurosurgeons for clinic and they rotate off as to when they do it. And like one may do it one week and then the other one may do it next week, stuff of the like. And then there's the urologist and his assistant and they switch off when they do it. And it just ultimately, you know, those are the two ones that, you know, switch off. But the others in my experience that don't switch off. But that doesn't mean that other clinics have like PTs and OTs that switch off. And a typical day for me is I will fly in the night before and stay at a hotel which if you want to find out more about like traveling and lodging and all that, there's a little eye in the corner and you can click on that and it'll take you to that video that I released last week. And then my day starts off in the morning and I get done an ultrasound on my kidneys and bladder. And then I go to clinic and I fill out paperwork and there's some paperwork that, I question like because some of the registration staff like front office staff forget that I'm not from Pennsylvania but one of them was like a survey about healthcare in Pennsylvania and how I get to like my healthcare and stuff and I felt like I wasn't equipped to answer that because I only go up there once a year and I remember I went up to one of the front office staff and I told them like, I can't fill this out. I'm not from Pennsylvania. And they're like, huh? And they took a look at my chart and like, oh yeah, sorry, give it back. Then I have clinic and all my doctors come in, not at the same time. They come in one by one and clinic can take anywhere from two hours to three hours. And depending on like the flights that we can get and stuff, I'll either fly out the same day or I'll stay at a hotel and fly out the next day. And that's it. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or just anything you like, and I'll do my best to answer them as best as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys again soon, and bye.